clock is ticking toward a government shutdown and other news and if funding of Planned Parenthood could play a key role in whether or not it actually happens. So some in Congress want to make defunding the group part of the upcoming budget showdown, while others don't want it to be uh, part to be blamed for another government closing. On Friday, the House passed a bill withholding government funding for Planned Parenthood, while Congress investigates them, hoping to appease conservatives. But with just 10 days to go, will that House vote be enough to avert a shutdown? Joining us now for a fair and balanced debate are Sean Noble, president of American Encore, and radio show host Garland Nixon. Thank you both for joining me. I Thank appreciate you. it. Glad to be here. So, Sean, I want to start with you. Between now and the end of the month, how do GOP lawmakers separate funding for Planned Parenthood and keeping the government open? Well, it's a difficult question because we have 31 conservatives in the House who have said they, they, are going, they want the CR, the, the ongoing funding for the government, to be tied to... Uh, Planned Parenthood, and the problem for is for our that viewers, the CR would be a month-long yeah, extension, yeah. not Continuing necessarily a long-term not, deal. Not the long-term deal. Uh, the problem is the president's not going to sign that. There, there is no way that the president's going to going to sign legislation that defunds Planned Parenthood, and uh, so it will come. You know, they'll try to force a shutdown, and I don't think that's a very good idea because ultimately Republicans will be blamed for that. Uh, and it looks bad because I mean these issues with Planned Parenthood are very serious. I mean the allegations, the videos are horrific. Uh, but there's a, a way to go about doing this, and shutting down the government is not the way to, to try to fix the problem that Planned Parenthood has created here. Yeah, but it wouldn't fix the problem. It's also not good for optics. I, I can imagine that you maybe wouldn't be so perturbed <laughs> by a government shutdown. Is well, that there, there, there are two hats I'm wearing. You know, my hat as a Democratic strategist, as right. it were, would be thrilled. You know, I'm jumping up and down dancing. Saying, because when this happened in 2013, we saw all the fingers yeah. point to the Republicans. Right. And particularly during, during an election year, it's going to be very difficult for the GOP candidates to, to, to answer the questions they're going to have to answer about an unpopular tactic. I can't even call it a strategy because it's not really going in, in anywhere. And do they defend it? Do they go after their base? So it, 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 it puts us in a pretty good position. The problem is, though, as an American citizen, it, it's, it, it's not going to be popular with most people. So I'm not going to feel good because the last one took $24 billion out of the economy. So yeah, we can't overlook, days. yeah, we can't overlook the practical uh, 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 things, the, 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 you know, practical aspects of this, the money, the dollars, the time. And you brought up timing. From, well, from the Republican side, it, I mean, this actually does more damage to what they want to try to do to fix the problems with Planned Parenthood and say, hey, we've got to make this something that doesn't happen anymore. We can't traffic these fetal tissue parts and and if we if they go through the the shutdown route then we've lost all leverage to actually fix the problem it's, it's and a, leverage yeah. being that the republicans are controlling both the senate and the house right. i mean and if they're if it what what would that mean for the optics if there is another well, government shutdown it, it especially in an election well cycle. exactly and because it puts all of the republican presidential candidates in a in a bad place other than ted cruz who is you know leading the strategy and not really thinking about what's it's doing to the party. He's doing it for himself, you know, and, to get, you know, attention and I'd be, I'd, be will, I'd be willing to wager that if you ask most citizens, few people can tell you what the last government shutdown was even right. about. People don't realize what it was about. They just realize that there was a shutdown and who was at fault for it. Okay, so perhaps a different, uh, perhaps not your party, but what would you advise Republicans right now? What moves should they make? Well, they really need to just get this done because they have to prove that they can govern. If, you're, if you want both houses of Congress and the White House, you have to prove that you can be responsible and practical and not just kind of you know, beat, on, beat on the table and scream and yell when you don't get your way. And you, Sean? Well, I think that the, the fact is, is that most of the American people have not seen these videos. So they, they don't really understand what the controversy is about. And so I think what Congress needs to do is they need to have a months of hearings and, and actually investigate what's going on here so that the people in America can kind of get a better education about what is the, the situation that, that they're going for and that way they don't have this problem to shut down they educate the american people and they actually fix the problem in the right, long well, run. we'll see we have about 10 days end of the month so yeah. hopefully hopefully they'll come to a, a decision thank, thank you. you very much garland sean thank you so much for thank joining you. us today we appreciate, appreciate it, it.